Game Freak has been more inclined to grant signature moves to more and more Pokemon as the generations have released. These moves are often really useful and creative additions to the game that give their users a nice little niche. Unfortunately, the competitive landscape is pretty unforgiving and a single move isn't going to make most Pokemon viable in VGC. That being said, some of the moves granted to these Pokemon are actually pretty desirable by a large number of meta-relevant Pokemon. So today, let's explore that and discuss bad Pokemon with broken moves. If you enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor and leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel because we're well on our way to 100 thousand subscribers. Oh, and be sure to check out my new second channel where I'll be uploading my regular battle content, as my content from this point on on this channel will strictly be these edited videos. Anyways, let's get into it. Tinkaton has a lot going for it. It's got an S-tier design, a great personality, one of the best typings in the game being a fairy and steel type, and it's got a big hammer. Who doesn't like those? Speaking of its hammer, this is actually what its signature move is based around. Tinkaton is the sole user of the physical steel type move Gigaton Hammer. This attack has 160 base power and only has the drawback of not being able to be used in succession. It's a pretty ridiculous move on paper considering you can't miss. Most moves that hit higher than 150 base power at least have a small chance of failing, like Giga Impact or Blast Burn. But no, this is just a really reliable attack that can't be used twice in a row. Steel types across the board would love to have this tool at its disposal. Metagross would never need to worry about missing another Meteor Mesh, Kartan would have a stronger move than Smart Strike, and Scissor could actually run a decent steel stab other than bullet punch. Unfortunately, Tinkaton isn't able to make full use of this move due to its pretty mediocre attack stat. Yes, Tinkaton has some pretty desirable traits, but it ends up being used as more of a support Pokemon with decent burst damage. It's got pretty good special bulk, decent speed, and access to moves like Rock Tomb, Fake Out, and even Knock Off. It just can't make use of its signature move all that well with its pretty shallow base 75 attack stat. Here's hoping that Tinkaton can do something impressive in a tournament sometime soon. Graplocked is yet another Pokemon that has access to some pretty great moves, but it just lacks the stats or abilities to really pull anything off. As a pure fighting type, Graplocked is already fighting an uphill battle to become relevant in any metagame due to stiff competition in Pokemon like Iron Hands or Conkeldur. Its stats also leave a lot to be desired with some pretty okay bulk, a just okay attack stat, and a speed stat that leaves it as just a mediocre trick room abuser. Its sole redeeming quality has to be in its two signature moves of Octolock and Topsy Turvy. Topsy Turvy being a move it only shares with Malamar. Octolock is a status move which will trap the target and lower both its defense and special defense stats at the end of each turn. Unfortunately, it's really hard to make full use of this move when all the opponent needs to do is knock out the grab locked. This means that an optimal grab lock spread is more invested in bulk and ends up being a really passive Pokemon clicking protect basically every other turn and relying on drain punch recovery to not get knocked out. If any faster Pokemon had access to this move, it'd be actually really easy to pull off a play like Octolock and protect with a partner turn 1 and then attack turn 2 to guarantee a 1 hit KO with that weakened defense stat. Unfortunately, as the sole user of this move, only Smeargle could be a possible alternative to this strategy. As for Topsy Turvy, this is a pretty situational move that is actually fairly useful in a lot of situations. Topsy Turvy is a move that will invert the stat changes a Pokemon has. Consider a Dondozo with a Tatsugiri in its mouth. This thing will be at plus two in every single stat. Normally, the best option for beating it would be to clear its stats with either Clear, Smog, or Haze, but alternatively, you could use Topsy Turvy to make it so Dondozo is actually at minus two in every stat. Because it's trapped in due to the mechanics of Commander, this not only neutralizes the Pokemon entirely, but grants you the opportunity to set up on it and prepare for whatever Pokemon might be in the back. Despite this move being in the game since Generation 6 with Malamar, it's never been available on a Pokemon that can truly use it to its maximum potential. I'm holding out for Graplock to get an evolution sometime soon, so I can actually start clicking this move and getting something done. Spidops Nation, sound off. If you're part of the Spidops Nation, let me know in the comment section below, and then put your credit card information into Patreon and give me a dollar if you're a true Spide operative. Um, Spidops is a tragedy. Tarantula was in my top 5 favorite Pokemon in Gen 9 design-wise, but seeing it not only turn into a really ad design Pokemon, but one with Generation 2 tier stats was just awful. You're not getting far in VGC with a monobug typing and stats as low as this, but it does have one really sick tool. Silk Trap is the newest variation of Protect. This move not only protects the user from damage, but lowers the speed stat of any attacker by one stage if they make contact with it. While it might not seem like a super powerful tool, consider the utility of baiting a Zacian into Behemoth Blading into your Silk Trap, allowing a partner Landorus to outspeed and one-shot it on the next turn. I really don't see why this move wouldn't be distributed to more bug types in the future. Tons of them can make really good use of it. Consider Volcarona, which would actually be a menace if it had this move, especially if calling a Protect wrong into it results in it outspeeding you the next turn and one-shot. You. But I honestly hope that they give this move to some of the weaker bug types because it could be just the buff that the likes of Masquerade or Slitherwing need to become relevant.
Jinx has access to the third most useful sleep move in the game. First place going to Spore, second place going to Yawn, and third going to Lovely Kiss, which just barely edges out sleep powder due to one trait. Lovely Kiss is a sleep move with 75 accuracy that isn't powder based like Spore or Sleep Powder, meaning that you can sleep grass type Pokemon and anything with safety goggles. This move is so useful that Smeargle has been known to run it over Spore in certain formats just so they can sleep Amoongus and Ferrothorn. Jinx, in my opinion, isn't even that bad of a Pokemon, but it's simply too difficult to fit onto any serious VGC team. It's ridiculously frail, but it actually hits decently hard and is pretty fast. It's got access to stab ice moves as well as fake out. Really, it's better than you'd think, but that one single tool it has would be incredible if it were given to any remotely fast Pokemon. I mean, imagine the horror of facing down a Ferramosa with access to this move. It'll break your ankles like Michael Jordan and then plant a fat one on your forehead. Okay, who remembers Heatmore? Yeah, me neither. Heatmore is the rival to Durant from Generation 5, but it was only granted access to his signature move two generations later in Sun and Moon. Kinda weird, right? Like, why did they give this thing a signature move two generations after they introduced it and then didn't give a signature move to Durant? I don't know. This move is actually pretty crazy powerful though. Fire Lash is a physical fire type move with 80 base power that will always lower the target's defense stat by one stage with each hit. Heatmore's stats aren't phenomenal by any means. I mean, not only is it slow, but it's frail. On top of that, its highest stat is its special attack stat, meaning that that its signature move hits off of its weaker 97 base attack. If any fire type other than this dude had access to this move, it could really run away with the game. Arcanine is known for clicking powerful flare blitzes and being a fat support Pokemon, but trading off that extra damage for no recoil and damage that ramps up over time is actually a pretty tempting trade. Same goes for Incineroar, who has some pretty powerful tools at its disposal, but no, they just want to waste one of the greatest fire moves ever on this forgettable anteater. Our final move today is going to be No Retreat, the signature move of Phalanx. As a Phalanx enjoyer myself, I've actually loved using these little dudes in competitive a few times. As a matter of fact, I actually have a really hype video on the channel if you want to check that out where we made this guy look like he was busted. But if I'm being honest, Phalanx only has this one move going for it. No Retreat is an omni-boosting move which will trap you in after you use it and then you can't use it again. But not being able to switch is a pretty low drawback for getting plus one in every single stat. Unfortunately, Phalanx has a pretty similar issue to Graplocked, where nothing but its attack stat is really all that decent. Luckily, it does have a pretty great ability in Defiant, which will make it get plus two attack if any of its stats are lowered by the opponent. But there's plenty of other decent Defiant fighting types in the game. I mean, look at Annihilate stats and try to convince me to use Phalanx over it in any situation. But yeah, No Retreat is a great move that plenty of Pokemon would love to have. If I could make a suggestion, it actually be really funny if Galissapod got this move. I mean, its whole deal is retreating, but setting up a condition where it just never switches is kind of a neat concept, right? Ghost types would also love to be able to abuse this move a ton, as by game mechanics, they're always able to switch, meaning that this move truly has no drawback on any ghost types. But yeah, this is the one thing that Phalanx has going for it, other than, well, I don't know, just being adorable. But those are bad Pokemon with broken moves. Let me know what signature move you wish better Pokemon got access to in the comments section down below. Court change Phalanx, anyone? No? Okay. If you want to support my channel, get access to an extra video every week, and see your name at the end of my videos, be sure to check out my Patreon or become a channel member. All these lovely people on screen already have. If you can't support that way, just know that leaving a like and subscribing actually does more than enough. Once again, check out my battling channel, Moxie Boosted's Gym, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.